Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Even Better Presents. And uh, we just unfortunately had a bit of a riot on our hands as I was building this latest and final wing. And uh, what I've decided is that this place is far too dangerous to... Uh, there are certain guys in this place that just can't be controlled. Alright? They just are super, super dangerous individuals. And the only way I can deal with them is to keep them locked up 24-7. Alright, so guys like this guy here, Yvonne, uh, Brian, who died, unfortunately, he bled out. He was our last legendary guy in our prison who um, was still alive. But he literally has killed, he's killed, well, this is his latest murder. The guy has killed, yeah, look at that. Actually, I didn't realize this, but these convictions are all actually accurate. So, he's killed. That's three murders right there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Another attempted murder right there. He's killed at seventeen people since he's been in our prison. So I've decided that protective custody is the only way to really keep these guys from being able to do this kind of stuff. When I get legendaries, they're going to go over here to this soul protective custody area. And they're going to spend the majority of their day in lockdown. Here, I'll show you the, re I'll show you the, the regime for these guys. So I put normal and maximum on the same regime. Where the hell is my... Protective custody. Oh, we don't have any protection. Son of a bitch. Alright, so since Yvonne was our only guy in protective custody, we'll just stick somebody else in protective custody for right now just so we can actually see it. Alright. The protective custody regime is like this. They sleep, they shower, they eat, then they're in lockdown all day, then they eat, then they're in lockdown all day. That is their life. These guys will never ever enjoy any kind of a freedom at all. I did this on purpose. Because they were just killing far, far, far too many people. I think the gap there for eating is way too long. Fix that. Protective custody is only going to be for guys who are the worst of the worst of the worst. So this guy's not, he's not. He's just a regular maximum sec. Anyone who commits a murder becomes supermax. Anyone who is consistently causing me headaches in supermax gets put in protective custody, which is where they will remain forever. That's just how this is going to have to be, I'm afraid. And because these guys happen to uh, bust through, I, I made a double door system there. They, they, they happen to get through those things on a regular, so... I just can't have it anymore. I really just cannot have it any longer. It's, it's gotten to the point of absolutely out of control, insanity, ridiculous, nonsense, bullshit. That's, I just can't tolerate it any longer. These guys have got to be stopped. So, I stopped them. I've decided that I'm stopping them. And, sad to say, but, uh... Solitary's not holding enough guys anymore. This is ridiculous. So you can see here, I've got one guard right here, and one guard, uh, armed patrol guard in here. Why is that still there? Dump the phone booth, Jesus.
So, like I said, guys, unfortunately, I've, I've had to do this because it's just gotten to the point of ridiculous. They killed so many of my of my guards and shit, it just got stupid. I had to deal with this. So, unfortunately, the only guy who was a uh, super bad guy, he's now dead. He bled out. Which can happen if you don't get medical attention. You will bleed out. That is unfortunate, but it'll happen. You can see here the riot, the aftermath of the riot. Dead, 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 dead. So many dead. Alright, well, let's go heal up this guy a little bit, wherever he gets placed. The cop would just hurry his ass up. Where are you putting him? There he is. Okay. Nurse, come heal this guy up. Because he's... And this guy's unconscious, so nurse, heal him up. I don't really want these guys bleeding at, bleeding to death in my prison. Like, not, not particularly really. It's unfortunately kind of necessary to... Uh, to deal with some of these guys in that way. But we're absolutely broke again, unfortunately. So yeah, I, I, I've made it so that the protective custody guys are basically going to be the most... Instead of guys that I, I feel are going to be targeted, I'll just put those guys in solitary for 24 hours or some shit like that. But it's the guys that I just can't control anymore that are going to become... Are going to become this... This style. Of absolute, never-ending... Restrain. Have to restrain them forever. I'm really hoping I don't have more than 14. If I end up with 14 of these guys, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'll have to do. It's, uh, it's already bad enough as it is. What's he doing in here? Oh, he's getting the garbage, probably. What's wrong with that cell? Oh, I see. Was it necessary to bring two full laundry baskets over here, you stupid asshole? What a dick for brains. So yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the uh, I'm gonna keep the guys like this in here basically, just uh, ready to, to, to kill. I'm gonna keep an armed guard in here. I'm gonna keep this double locked like that, so that because escape attempts seem to be happening pretty regularly with these super bad guys, right?
But uh, things are starting to come back to normal here, which is good. How are you teaching when you're all the way over there, you stupid asshole? You're supposed to be sitting with the ch in the chair. Because this is, of course, program time. We're on uh, alcoholics group therapy. Yeah, can't do another one. But yeah, as you can see here, things have become kind of complicated, kind of messy. Um, it's difficult. It's very difficult to, to run this place right now. There's, uh, you know, look at this. We got our dead guys everywhere. It's upsetting. Yeah. So, I'm really hoping that, you know, maybe these Supermax guys will start behaving themselves a little better. They do seem like they're having a hard time getting their needs met. Let me just check a look at this regime. I'm thinking there's a there's too long of a gap between dinners. I'm just upset that we're getting so many Supermax guys. Now we did just lose a lot of population, unfortunately. Uh, our three informants survived the night. Thank God for that. Now this guy here, he's look at it. He's he's got three modifiers, right? What's his experience? This guy smells like he's gonna become a murderer soon, right? Like, look, he's strong, he's tough, and he's uh, stoical. Fuck. Pause time. Search him. Search him. Everybody in here is getting searched. Now, somebody just killed this guy. I want to know who it was, because you're going to Supermax. You. Supermax. And you are also going to be getting a serious amount of time in solitary. 14 hours, yep. You seriously injured and attacked prisoner? You tried to kill him? You're going to Supermax as well. And you tried to kill him? You're going to Supermax as well. So this is what I gotta deal with now, guys, is I got a lot of guys like this who, uh, you know, if they kill a prisoner, I'm putting their asses in a Supermax. If they tried to kill the prisoner, Supermax. I, I just can't, I can't play the game anymore. I just can't play this game that these guys are playing with me. I gotta stop this. I gotta stop this, this violent behavior in my prison. Like, this guy's gonna die soon, so we should probably get a nurse in there. And that guy's pretty injured down there, so we'll get a nurse down to him. Don't urinate on my floor. So we have the dog patrols going around these cell blocks. Oh, I don't. Sh there shouldn't be two. There shouldn't be only. Why is there three? There's only supposed to be one. There's supposed to be one dog patrol. That's all. So we got our armed guards in key positions here. 
The dogs are going around looking for tunnels because they'll, they'll sniff out tunnels. These two dogs collect drugs coming through and out of the cells. This dog collects anything coming out of the cleaning cupboard. This dog does this for this cell. So how many armed guards do we have? We have 11 out of 15 potential. Dog handlers, we have 12. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine armed guard patrols and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a few extra guys that we need for. We don't need that many dog handlers, but we have them. In fact, I got an idea. Instead of these guys being guards, they should be dogs. And we'll, re we'll, we'll remove this one. Now they're just in key spots. Searching for tunnels. Sniff, 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 sniff. All right, so let's let's hope that that some of these guys are going to start behaving. Like, I don't know what to do anymore with these guys. They're just they're they're making me so unhappy, like so sad. I'm trying to balance everything here, trying to make the regime as fair as possible, and these guys just keep getting them getting into trouble, getting each other killed. It's it's awful. It's just awful. Oh wow, he's unconscious. Let's get a, a nurse over there to help him out before he dies. And we got a lot of injured max set guys here, so. Like, you should become my first protective custody guy. Because you are an absolute piece of shit who constantly is causing me trouble. Some of these guys aren't super freaking, like, awful. Some of these guys are very awful. Be careful, doctor. That guy wouldn't freaking hesitate to rape and kill you. All right, so we've healed up all these guys. And this guy seems like he's injured, and this guy's injured. So go over there and heal those two guys up. After she heals up those two guys and this third guy, I guess, we'll, everything will be okay. Alright, 
Well, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we've got our first protective custody individual right here. Oops, there's always, this always happens. I hate this. And I hope that we don't have to deal with productive custody guys too many too many times here. But uh, you never know what's going to happen, right? So we now have pretty much our finished product prison. It's just really going to be about adding more prisoners to it now. But all the rooms, and I, I have this extra space over here where these two power power places are. I figure one will go this way, one will go this way. That'll take the load off these other three, because these three are starting to get a little bit close to uh, maxed out. Like, this is the only one that's really got any space left on it. But I start putting in some more uh, metal detectors, and that's the end of that, right? So, you know, we've got our protective custody wing, we've got our super max, we've got our minimal security, and our, our medium security, and maximum security. I might bring in one minimal security group. Stick them over here. Got our yard, we got our forestry, we got our psychiatrist. Big old common room with its alcoholics control group so I think everything's pretty good Ugh, I fucking hate that I hate that they cut through the kitchen they shouldn't be cutting through the fucking kitchen There's gotta be a way to make that happen or I know how to do that I know how I can fix that And then we'll just put the staff only. Because these guys have been cutting through there so often, it's making me very, very mad. I don't like it. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Yesterday was a very dark chapter in the history of this prison. Far too many people lost their lives here. Make sure nobody else dies, say, or you will face prosecution for criminal negligence. Oh, shit. All right. Let's save... Just in case. We have to make sure nobody dies today. Or, or yeah, we have to basically make sure nobody dies today. So, uh, utilities, sorry, deployment, staff only. There we go. That'll keep them from passing through there. That metal detector is more to catch stuff that, uh, that makes it past this metal detector. I really hope that nobody dies today because that's bad. I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail because of that. Criminal negligence. Way bad idea. Like, way bad. So here's hoping we can actually get through the day, guys, without actually having anyone get murdered because... Damn, I don't want to go to jail in my own prison. That's why I just saved right there, because if we fail today, I'm going to re-roll it and try again. So thanks very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next episode of Evan Better Presents.